Hello everyone and welcome back to the Theme Parks Direct YouTube channel where today I'm going to be talking about the brand new plans that Treddington have revealed to us for their brand new themed area which includes a coaster and two new flat rides along with much more which we're going to be discussing throughout this video so make sure you watch till the end because you really do not want to miss this awesome themed area that Treddington has leaked many new images for and it looks absolutely stunning. But before we jump into today's video everyone please do give us a subscription down below Below if you do enjoy today's video as it really does help us out and it will help us get to that 1000 subscriber mark and I just want to say aside from that even if you don't thanks so much for clicking on today's video it really does mean a lot to us here at the Theme Parks Direct YouTube channel thanks so much let's dive into the rest of the video so from what they've released is that they're going to be uh, you know they've unveiled a brand new roller coaster at the park which is going to inf uh, feature I'm not going to say it now but I'm going to say it in a bit it's going to feature something really cool which I'm really excited to see coming to Chesington and it's going to be surrounded by this awesome themed area it's kind of like a Aztec kind of themed area I'm not too sure the theme of it but it's kind of like an Aztec type style theme which is what they're going for it's filled up with palm trees different piece of greenery, lovely piece of theming, which you'll see go up throughout this video when I talk about those different pictures which they've released. But before I jump into the different pictures, I want to just show you the area which Chesington have revealed will be their new themed uh, you know, area, uh, area of the park. So up on the screen now, you'll see a piece of landscape area from Google Maps that I've gathered, which is where this new themed area will go. Of course, at the minute, you see just a green field and it might have bounced Zilla, uh, one of the uh, kind of bouncy castles. I'm getting confused with Thorpe Park's Bounce Zilla. Not too sure if they've updated Google Maps yet, but last time I checked, it had a picture of Bounce Zilla on. Um, but yeah, it's going to be on that themed uh, like a kind of area, uh, field area, and it's going to be a brand new themed area that looks really cool. And it's going to, you know, be situated next to uh, Land of the Dragons and, of course, Pirates Cove as well. Of course, that features Blue Barnacle as well. Now, I didn't actually really think that they would bring a new kind of themed area in. I thought they might extend the Pirate's Cove area, put a pirate water ride in, or maybe just bring in some other sort of ride uh, that would really fit with the area, or even extend Land of the Dragons now. I didn't actually see them bringing in a brand new coaster of this model, uh, and it looks really good and really fascinating when we're talking about the coaster model in just a moment's time. But yeah, I'm going to put up the first leaked image that they've released of this concept art uh, that Chesington have put together, and it looks an awesome themed area now. In this, you can see, of course, someone taking a selfie, people walking around, um, and it looks really nice. You can see palm trees all around, uh, a lo uh, kind of like a sand coloured floor, not too sure what that's going to be, it might be a, a gravel type floor, maybe just a flat concrete floor with that colour. Of course, this is just this is just uh, concept art, it probably won't be that colour, it might be uh, one of a different colour, uh, you know, to go with that floor. Um, but at the minute, it, it actually looks really nice having that floor colour to match with like the sandy type beach theme, uh, Aztec theme that they're going for. But yeah, lovely palm trees. And of course, whenever, whenever like a theme park plants um, kind of you know greenery plants all around a themed area, it does take a couple of years for that area to actually uh, grow up, and it looks a lot better after a few years of it, you know, growing all those plants getting a bit bigger and you know you know gr growing out it looks a lot nicer after that, that they've grown up after a few years but straight away see in here this is what they want the final image to look like uh, and it looks really nice of course as i've said palm trees you've got kind of this metal building not too sure what that could be um that might be where one of the flat rides is going that might be in ride operator booth for one of the flat rides so we'll definitely have to see what that is but the main feature that is really fascinating in this image, which kind of gives away what I was going to say at the start of the video, is that you can see a roller coaster track above an entrance, which is like a black entrance that hasn't got a lot of theming on, but I could, we could expect to see some sort of theming going on that. A roller coaster track that looks like an inversion. Now, this is really fascinating and such a cool, you know, concept art and it looks fantastic I mean I've been waiting forever for Chesington to bring in a new coaster and I didn't actually think Chesington would ever bring in an inversion uh, in a, one of their new coasters because seeing as they're such a family park but actually 
I've always wanted them to bring an inversion, sort of, you know, upside down kind of ride, a more thrilling ride to the park. Only because, yes, they're still focused on family rides, but it will bring them a more vast, you know, variety of things that they can do. Uh, yes, still focus on, you know, more family orientated ride experiences, but still have that thrill factor to bring in more guests. Uh, that you know are seeking that thrill factor and of course Chesington's a local park for me so it'll be nice to see that more of a thrilling factor come to it uh, as you know Thought Park is kind of the most thrilling theme park that's close to me so you know it'll be nice to see Chesington include a inversion in their coast of course this is concept art as, as I've said uh, and you know this might not actually happen but looking at the ride track this this could be uh you know one that we didn't actually speak about when i did that video a couple of weeks back about what type of coaster model it will be looking at the ride track it actually doesn't look like it would be of course it's not a water coaster looking at it uh, but it might not even be a, a motorbike accelerator coaster seeing as it does do an inversion what they could be is a vacoma boomerang coaster but what a lot of people have been saying is that it could actually be a winged coaster now. Of course, if you don't know, there's already a winged coaster over at Thorpe Park. My favourite ride at the park and second favourite in the country. And actually, that would be really cool to see another winged coaster. The only winged coaster at the moment in the UK is the Swarm. So it'd be nice to see another one appear up at Chesington, both owned by Merlin Entertainment. Now, of course, this is speculation and what a lot of people are saying and what I'm going off of is that that ride track does actually look a bit like a, you know, um, wing coaster ride track. Um, as I say, it couldn't, it might not even be that, but a lot of people are saying at the moment that it is. Now, this looks really cool. Or actually, another thing that I you know, kind of put together after playing a few theme park games myself is that it could be a single rail coaster. Now, it's basically where you sit... Um, you probably understand what I mean by a single rail coaster. It's basically one seat in a long train, uh, a coaster train, basically, and you probably have around 10 seats in one train. So it'll seat up to 10 people, which, you know, might not be good for throughputs, but actually, if they're getting it around quite quickly, it would be good. Um, but yeah, as I say, that, that would be really awesome to see that. Maybe a single rail coaster, because that's the kind of track that they have for uh, that kind of ride system. So a single rail coaster might actually be a good idea for the park to bring in. It's not that too intense, uh, but still quite a cool idea, especially with having an inversion. I'm not even sure they can do inversion single rail coasters. I haven't done my research, but looking at it, it kind of, uh, you know, brought to my mind that actually that's, uh, you know, a single rail coaster that I've played in a game before. But yeah, that's image one, which is a cool image showing us an inversion in the new roller coaster. Moving on to image two, though, is basically uh, not a ride system. It's not showing us any sort of ride. Um, but it is actually showing us the Jaguar statue uh, that they put in. I believe it's a Jaguar. And actually, me saying that you can't see a ride, I've just noticed that you can see the coaster track uh, just behind the uh, you know massive theming piece, which is going to be really cool going around that. That's going to look absolutely stunning, especially with a lot of palm trees around it. And I just want to say the images in this might not be the best of qualities. They are the ones I found online that people have shared. So I do apologise if they're not the best of qualities. But yeah, Jaguar, Jaguar statue looks really nice. I'm not sure what it's going to be made of. Probably looking at it, it's going to be quite a glossy look, which is going to be really nice. A nice black glossy look. And actually, as I said, single rail coaster, looking at it, it's not going to have... It's going to be one of those, you know, goes back around, as I said, a, a boomerang coaster. They go, uh, they're pulled up backwards out of the station, then released, and then, you know, just the speed and momentum, and they're just pulled along by gravity. That's how they make it around the track. And then when they reach that top bit, as you can see where the track ends, they'll slowly go back round. Not slowly, but, you know, they'll go back round into the station. So a single rail coaster that does that, maybe, or even just a, you know, boomerang coaster, or as people are saying, a winged coaster. That would be really cool, having a winged coaster that actually goes backwards. Uh, that would be really cool. And hopefully Swarm uh, will bring that backwards seat uh, back one day. And actually, uh, I've got a few, I've got another video coming up about that because there's been some uh, a, a hidden detail that I've noticed um, somewhere. So I'm not going to say where because I don't want people, uh, you know, doing that video. Uh, I want to I want to do that for all of you. And so, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Uh, turn on notifications if you haven't already. I had to put that little bit of a plug in um, to do that. But yeah, that's the Jaguar statue. Let's move on to one of the main images, which is actually a station building, which is an outdoor station building. You can see a bridge which goes over the track, which is a station track. 
Um, and actually, looking at the track here, it's actually a bit more of a normal roller coaster track. It's not that grey track anymore. It actually looks like a yellow track uh, with red kind of supports, a bit like the Flamingo one, Flamingo Land one, um, with 10 inversions. Hopefully, open in the summer. Fingers crossed, because I'm going there this summer. Please be open when I when I go there. I'd love to experience that. Um, but yeah, this this looks uh, quite interesting now. Seeing that people are saying a wing coaster. Looking at the uh, you know the track and of course the distance between that. It could quite possibly could be a wing coaster. It looks quite a bit of a distance between the track, but what it could be is a not a double winged coaster, but it could actually just be one seat on either side of the track. Um, so you know, not like Thought Park swarm size because it's not going to actually go that high. But seeing as it's kind of like a boomerang coaster, they probably don't want the train to be as heavy. So it might be one on either side of the track. Could possibly work because looking at it here, uh, you actually have got station gates on either side. So. Mm, that kind of, you know, goes along with the idea that it's going to be a wing coaster. Maybe that kind of throws my, uh, uh, you know, single-seater coaster train. Oh, I've forgotten what the name of it is now. Um, uh, but yeah, that kind of throws my idea at the, you know, at the uh, window. I didn't actually realise that they had two sides of the station. So, you know, that that, that looks really good. Uh, and I'm not as really sure what kind of uh, other ride has a has two stations other than the Swarm. So, you know, we could be seeing uh, this this coming in now. Or that could just be to get throughputs in and out for you know a single rail, that's it. Or just any sort of ride. Never normally see this before, but it could just be throughputs. Maybe have one side go on first and then they get off uh, the other side. Actually, that's what it could be actually. You know, go, you're getting off the other side of the track. Hang on, my single rail coaster has been brought back into the uh, in through the window, back in the room. There you go. That could be just getting off the other side of the uh, out of the station and the exit. So mm, maybe that could be a single rail coaster. Uh, but you know, wing coaster definitely a strong strong suggestion. Now I want to move on from that. Let's talk about some of the flat rides that come into the area. And uh, you know, there's, there's, there's four different ones. No, that's not four, that's five, isn't it? Four different ones uh, that they've released images of, and Chesington are going to be picking two of them out of the four. So you know, they're going to be picking their best ones. So oh, as, you, as you can see on the screen now, you can see a balloon ride. This looks really nice. Uh, a nice tame ride for Chesington. Seeing as you've got the major thrill attraction, but fingers crossed it's got an inversion. Uh, this is a nice balloon ride just for kind of that more family orientated experience. I'm not, I'm not seeing these do any sort of upside down uh, kind of inversions anytime soon. So, uh, you know, there, that's the balloon ride. Up on the screen now is actually another one of the rides, uh, which is a Miami ride, um, which kind of, you know, it's a bit like Jungle Bus. So I don't really see this one coming to the park. Um, only because you've already got Jungle Bus in uh, Wild Asia, so that's kind of one that's probably crossed off already for me. Uh, unless they got rid of Jungle Bus, or actually took Jungle Bus out of Wild Asia and rethemed it to this and made it a bigger kind of ride system. Don't think they're going to do that, but I do kind of think this one's kind of crossed out off the list. Coming up next is you've got a kind of a frog hopper type ride. This looks quite good and qu I think they might go with this one actually. Uh, this is one of the, the that I think they, they are going to go with and maybe the next one I'm going to talk about they're going to go with as well. Seeing as a balloon ride, it wouldn't really fit in with an Aztec area unless they themed it to something else. Uh, I don't really think that would fit in and, uh, and I kind of see where the Miami would fit in. Um, uh, it could be a bit like waves because um, it's like a sandy type ground it could be like waves going over not too sure but um i don't think that one's going to be introduced into the park in this new area but yeah this fog hopper ride looks really nice uh that's gonna be really cool uh if they do bring that hopefully they do because that actually looks quite a cool ride system uh i've done a few of them before but you know it's quite it's quite a thrilling ride but still at the same time a family orientated ride and i think that'd be a good fit for chesington world adventures now finally you'll see the final image up on the screen now is actually a squid surfer ride um, actually, that's what it's called over at Legoland Windsor. So that's what it's called. Well, it was called. Sorry, it's been rethemed for Legoland Mythica. A squid surfer uh, ride that is, you know, very similar to that ride system. Uh, and as, as I say, this one could be coming in a bit like the Wave Miami. Maybe this could be kind of that, you know, sandy theme. It could be a beach. Uh, or something to fit in. I'm not sure what they'd do with that sort of theme, but you know, those two are the ones that I think they might pick. But of course, this is just speculation. They might they might add even more to pick from on this list. But at the moment, it's just those four uh, and all the other concept images that they've released. But you know, that's all it is from me today. Just wanted to sit down and talk about this new Chesington concept art. Looks absolutely amazing. Really looking forward to getting onto this. And as I say. 
please, fingers crossed, we have an inversion at Chesington World Adventures. Would be really nice to see. Uh, and, you know, maybe my prediction will be right of a uh, single rail coaster. So, yeah, hopefully we do see that. Uh, and hopefully it is a really nice addition for the Chesington World of Adventures resort. But if you have enjoyed today's video, everyone, remember to leave a like and subscribe on the, uh, to our YouTube channel. Help us hit a 1,000 subscribers by summer. I know we'll do it, but I just wanted to say, please do help us, uh, as you know, that'll be amazing. Instagram support has been fantastic. And the minute you can find a link in our bio to join m many of the other 2,000 followers currently uh, following us on Instagram, I think it's around 2,000. I'm just rounding it up. Uh, but it's very close to 2,000. Help, go be a part of them. You see some awesome things like posts and updates from the park before these videos go live and yeah as I said subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and check out some of our awesome other videos you'll see some up on the screen in just a moment's time and that's been it from me everyone thanks so much for watching the theme parks direct youtube channel and I'll see you all in the next video